wish us luck and uh, here we go elk season 2018 archery on our outdoors back up this canyon part two weekend number two archery elk hunt 2018 it's the end of august and uh let's come home with an elk this time huh huh yeah so here we go hit the like button hit the subscribe button let's do this let's get an elk We got to our area and uh, we're gonna set up base camp right over by that uh, where's it at? Oh, there. Yeah, that busted up little cabin that's over there. It's an old cabin from a long time ago. So imagine if you did your homework, you could find out where I am. So it's not too hard to figure out. Anyway, we're gonna set our tent up right back there and uh, maybe right over here. And let's get unloading camp and let's do it. All right. Probably want to take it down first. Hey everybody, so we just got here to our camp. Got it all set up. We've got the uh, the Kodiak canvas tent set up here. The grill, some coolers. So that's what we're looking at. This is gonna be base camp for this year's elk season, at least the early part of the season. If we don't get anything, we'll try the late season. Here's inside the tent. Got all my stuff hung up, got some arrows. Got my little custom uh, arm guard there, bracer. Got the berry curve up top, hanging out on the loft. And uh, yeah, there's the cot and sleeping bag. That's where I'm gonna be. Wish us luck, and uh, here we go. Elk season, 2018 archery on our outdoors. Alrighty guys, it is uh, kind of getting evening time and we are just kind of doing a little bit of an evening walk, checking the area out, seeing what's here, looking for sign. Seen a little bit of it, it's not super fresh, but we're out here looking, so it's a pretty meadow and it connects up to a stream on the back side of it that runs all the way over to a really large meadow. That, uh, it's got some really interesting cover spots and and a spring so anyway we're gonna just keep trucking along here see if we see anything see if we hear anything just kind of looking for sign first night out and we'll be up early in the morning trucking for that uh that the big meadow that i'm after so hopefully there's something there and we got four days to kind of be looking around and hopefully find something so first First night of the of the hunt. Here we go. Yes. Well, it was kind of a short little day one. It's getting dark already, but we got up here late. We didn't get here until like 6:30, I think. So anyway, uh, yeah, headed back to camp now. It's just down this trail here, and I'll be up super early in the morning. Headed back up this trail the other direction, and uh, the trail stops about hmm, maybe a quarter mile up there, and then it just turns into kind of game trails, and we'll be following a, a creek bed all the way to where I'm headed. So anyway, that's day one for us, and I'm a little bummed that my two sons, older sons, weren't able to make it, DJ and Truett, but uh, Truett was with us last time. You saw him on the last hunt, 
but they're all kind of coughing and hacking up stuff so anyway i didn't want to get them all sick getting them up here in the high altitude and cold weather and stuff so they're hanging out at home and i was really hoping maybe my brother or something would be able to make it down from idaho josh shout out to josh the other earl outdoors host but he's working hard so anyway so that's us uh, for day one and i'll see you guys in the morning all righty night all righty guys it's morning i'm uh been walking for a little ways but i got a little bit of a later start than i wanted to it's getting light already sun hasn't come up yet even though it looks really bright it's not that bright but uh yeah i got a little bit Excuse me, a little bit later start than I wanted to. Four wheeler guys beat me to the trails. So, lesson learned. If you want to beat the four wheelers, you gotta get moving. So, anyway, we're on our way to this meadow. I can hear some moo cows up here. Hopefully, they're not too much pressure. Anyway, all right, day two, first morning. Here we go. some breakfast looks like sun's up now and uh, we're gonna head up and over that ridge right there drop down on the other side there's some meadows over there I was hoping to see something here but nothing this morning that's okay I saw a ton of fresh elk sign all in this this thick stuff behind me so really fresh like this morning fresh so they're here we just gotta be at the right place at the right time find a spot to sit maybe just wait hopefully they'll walk by <laughs> all right let's get some breakfast sign up here right up on the top and there is a lot of sign really fresh all of the droppings and stuff are still really moist and wet sounds gross right but yeah we're gonna find one Alrighty guys, well I uh, made my way down that hill after them, but they were on the move. I was hearing them up top and for a minute I thought it might have just been like another hunter or something doing some cow calls, because that's all I heard was cow calls. And then, uh, boy, out of the blue I heard like the whole herd just kind of erupt. There was a couple bugles in there, and some more cows. and. And I looked down and about a hundred yards through the trees. I could see them kind of running through the trees. And uh, I know they didn't win me, because I've been checking wind constantly. But they were on the run from something. So I kind of got down the hill, tracked them for a little bit. I think they just dropped off the uh, west side of this ridge over here. It drops way down into a, a basin. So anyway, I heard some gunshots on the south 
slope over here. And uh, I know he ain't supposed to be rifle hunting right now. So I don't know what that was all about, but I don't know, maybe that's what they're running from. Hey, so I'm gonna show you where I was at when I heard him, kind of where I was going. So that hilltop there, I had come up about down here and walked up on the back side of it and walked up. I started hearing him about right up there. And then I walked out to the end over here and started hearing them. And they were bugling down in this kind of sloped area. And uh, so I kind of chased down here a little bit. And I think they popped out over here and crossed this and went all through there. And there's a, said so there's a, a drainage on that side. I think they went down through. So that's where I was at. So anyway, my pack is right up there. So I gotta go get it now. Yay. So uh, if you've ever wondered where those like aluminum type balloons, those like weird metal-y ones, not the regular, you know, latex balloons, but the other ones, like the party balloons, where they end up when you just let them go and they fly away. They end up in the middle of the woods. At least apparently that one did. <laughs> saw some deer. Saw uh, some more deer. Lots of deer. But I uh, haven't seen any elk since that last herd ran down below me and took off. So we're gonna keep looking though. Midday, some high up overlooking all that awesomeness. It's pretty down there. So I can see some moo cows down there though. So I don't know if I want to go down. Anyway, I might just stay up here till kind of evening or late afternoon, see if they make their way off the hill again. If not, I'll start the long walk back to camp. Do it again tomorrow. Alrighty. over to this drainage that I knew was coming out of the, the bottom side of those meadows because there's a couple little like ponds in the meadows and stuff and and uh, they're right on the top and so the drainage that cuts down is carved this huge canyon and um, I thought I'll sneak over to the edge of that canyon kind of right up on the top and likely run into some of them that are laying down catching that up uh, draft of the, the kind of the cool breeze from the creek that runs down and I just kind of stormed in there a lot faster than I should have. And uh, 15, 20 yards in front of me, a uh, spike jumped up and a cow jumped up, ran down the drainage and all the way up the other side and I just watched them leave like, there they go. Uh, the learning curves of elk hunting. This is fun. Well guys, we made it back to camp, and uh, oh, I didn't see anything else. Saw a few more deer, but they're always bouncing around here. Anyway, we're gonna hunt hard in the morning, and uh, just keep on going. If we see anything, we'll fill you in. If not, that'll be a bummer, but we're gonna keep our hopes high. And, all right. Well guys, we gave it our best shot. We hunted hard, climbed lots of mountains. <laughs> Uh, lots of elevation change, lots of miles. And uh, yeah, we saw those elk that first, or second day, whatever that was. And uh, and we heard those gunshots not long after, and I kid you not, after those gunshots, man, I didn't see hardly anything else after that. So call it what you will. Maybe they were poaching, maybe they were just out target shooting, I don't know. But it is what it is. That's. Uh, Boy, a rifle hits the field, and archery guys, they have a slim chance after that. So, anyway, 
thanks for tuning in and uh, we got a hunt coming up in October we're doing the uh, buck deer hunt in October we've got a slip for private property so uh, that's gonna be a high success rate hunt right there so we'll have fun and uh, thanks for tuning in guys thank you so much hit the subscribe button hit the like button and um, yep we'll see you again next time Rural Outdoors